Ozarks. And on this Wednesday evening, we are visiting Stockton Lake. We got out of Springfield this week. We were at Orleans Trail Resort and Merida, and it is a beautiful facility on a beautiful lake. Love coming up to uh, Stockton Lake. A lot of times you come up here and there's a little less pressure on the water, so you don't have quite as many boaters. Uh, also, I hear the fishing is very good. I haven't actually gotten to fish up here, but I've done some camping up here, and I think this uh, facility that we're at this evening would be a fantastic spot to go, especially this upcoming weekend, because we're looking at some really nice June weather, I think, to get out in the Ozarks. Uh, you know, on these uh, weather tour stops, we uh, we mentioned uh, winter for the uh, middle and severe weather radio. Uh, again, the weather tour, it's all about kind of getting out in the Ozarks. Uh, it's also about uh, providing a little bit of weather awareness, severe weather awareness. Of course, we've had a relatively quiet severe weather season, and, and hopefully it stays that way as we push deeper into the uh, summer. Uh, as far as tonight's middle and severe weather radio winter, uh, Chester Irons, of Republic, Missouri, uh, won that weather radio. And if, if you don't have a weather radio, it's something that you really should have in your home uh, because, you know, late at night when you're sleeping, you need something that's going to wake you up out of bed to let you know that severe weather is rolling through the area. And uh, that's exactly uh, the way to do it. Um, also, kind of uh, looking at conditions uh, across the area this evening, yesterday, uh, after that hot and muggy day, it's almost like Mother Nature hit rewind. Uh, we went back to springtime today after that cloudy, cool kind of misty start to the day just a gorgeous afternoon has developed across the area with sunny skies low humidity afternoon temperatures I mean this is perfect outside especially after the heat and humidity of yesterday yesterday we had heat index values up around 100 degrees today we're looking at temperatures in the low 70s um, this evening if you are going to be out and about uh, just just nice out there you might even want to have a light jacket on you late this evening as temperatures will slide through the 60s and eventually into the middle 50s for overnight lows. Let's talk about the wind because over the last 24 hours, with that potent storm that's been moving through the middle of the country, we've seen some pretty stout wind gusts. Uh, the strongest winds have been over west Missouri and northwest Arkansas. We had gusts approaching 50 miles per hour in Joplin with a peak gust there of 47. In Springfield, we had a gust of 43 miles per hour. And even though we didn't hit the 40 mile per hour mark, uh, say east of Highway 65, we still had some gusty winds there between 30 and 40 miles per hour. Regionally, uh, we're on the back side of that storm. We're now at the beginning stages of what will be a very quiet stretch of weather overnight tonight uh, with that combination of uh, starry skies and low humidity and, and lighter winds, I might add. We're going to find those temperatures again dropping back into the 50s and tomorrow just about perfect for the middle of June. Uh, we're going to keep humidity levels low. Winds are going to be light as that area high pressure sort of glides by to our south and uh, we're going to find sunny skies with afternoon highs in the low 80s. So looking at tonight's forecast, again, starry skies, everybody should dip into the 50s. I think in Springfield, we're looking at a low of about 54, and then tomorrow should be looking at a high of about 82 degrees. Uh, now, looking ahead as we work into the weekend and beyond, it looks like Friday is going to be a warmer day. It's going to be a bit more muggy, too. Uh, it looks like temperatures are going to top out around 86. There may be a reinforcing shot of, of slightly milder air that comes in just in time for the weekend that will keep temperatures very seasonable through Saturday and Sunday. Humidity levels, it's going to be a bit more humid, but they're not going to be out of hand. Uh, looks like the overnight lows are going to be pretty close to where they should be at this time of the year, uh, generally in the low 60s with afternoon highs uh, topping out in the middle 80s. Next week, Hot and muggy weather does return. Looks like by Tuesday and Wednesday, we're looking at highs back up near 90 degrees, and it will be humid. Before I let you go, here's our viewers club number for tonight, 136116, and tonight's jackpot is up to $800. Heather, back to you. All right, Jamie, thank you. Enjoy that weather while you're out there. A black